You know, for more than one million Americans living with multiple sclerosis, one common drug for that disease costs seven thousand one hundred dollars per month. The price has gone up one thousand percent over the last twenty years without any change in the drug. For more than one million people with rheumatoid arthritis, a common prescription drug used to cost about $1,350 per month. That was when it was introduced back in 2003. Today, the same drug costs $7,700 per month, over five times more expensive, without any change. For years, the price of many prescription drugs has dramatically outpaced inflation. These prices have put the squeeze on too many families and stripped them of their dignity. They've been forced, we forced people into terrible choices between maintaining their health, paying the rent or the mortgage, putting food on the table. I mean, literally. And that's the case for a lot of working families and seniors, even if you can get the care you need. But today, working families and too many seniors are struggling to make it work. Today, one in four Americans who take prescription drugs struggle to afford them. Nearly 30 percent have skipped doses, cut pills in half, or because they can't afford the cost. We have to change this without competition for up to 12 years. When that time period expires, other companies can come along, make the same exact drug, and sell it cheaper. It's called generic drug. But unfortunately, it often takes a long time, years and years, for this to happen. That's why I've instructed the Federal Drug Administration to get these genetic drugs to consumers faster. This is going to increase competition, lower drug prices for everyone. Research shows the prices could be cut by 25 to 33 percent and save $54 billion for consumers over the next 10 years makes a gigantic difference for an average family. Secondly, I've ordered the FDA to work with states and tribes to import prescription drugs safely from Canada. These are drugs that the FDA has determined are safe, and they're going to make sure the drugs get to the states and tribes safely. Colorado estimates that their version of the drug importation program is going to save $35 million to $60 million a year for people in Colorado, cutting the prices down by more than 60 percent for the cost of the same drug. These things, and by the way, you know, the company that's making these drugs and, cause, and, and charging exorbitant prices are selling the same drug in other countries at considerably lower prices. It's not like there's another company always making this drug. Same outfit. These things by themselves will be a great help. Talk, I mean, a long time since the days when I was back in the Senate, about giving Medicare the power to negotiate lower drug prices. Now, Medicare takes care of millions of people. Medicare, my plan is going to allow that. Every other type of health care service from the cost of a doctor's, how much a doctor can charge for a visit, hospital visit, crutches, wheelchairs. Medicare is allowed to negotiate and say, we'll pay no more from the Medicare than the following amount for those things. As I've said before, the only thing Medicare is not allowed to negotiate are prices for prescription drugs. My plan gets rid of that prohibition. The proposal I made while I was running for president is that Medicare should negotiate drug prices across the board. Congress is currently debating a more narrow vision, letting Medicare negotiate some of the most expensive drugs, particularly from those companies that don't face competition for that drug. We're going to provide that competition through — we're going to provide that competition through Medicare. Medicare is going to negotiate a fair price. Right now, drug companies will set a price.